Good morning, everybody. This is Chrissy from Solstice ATR Group and Balkan Capital. I would like to go over some technicals before I do. I would like to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, to my mom, my spouse, and everyone. Let's just go over a couple of technicals. Um, first of all, I would like to show the Fortune 500, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average, a combination of all those instruments combined. On the four hour chart, and this is the reason why I am showing the 180 day four hour chart, what I would like to do is zoom in first to show the combination. This was the gap from uh, 329 and we opened up on uh, 401 on a gap up and we basically rallied higher consolidated you know five days pushed up consolidated by five days pushed up looked above and eventually failed because you know the china tariff and the news going back and forth we came back down retraced to the gap fell if you notice there was a gap one here and there's one more here we retested both gaps on the Dow. I was looking for more of that one. We went under, and on Friday, after looking below, we came back bullish, and we closed right above the 38.2 Feb. This is very important. If we're going to continue higher, we still have a down channel here. If we can draw it, if you can see it down here, we can grab this one. Oops, wrong one. We can grab this level here. Connect it to that one, and you can see that we still have a big distance to go. But if I connect this one from here, we'll just leave it up there. Oops, again, we did the same issue. Okay, one more from the overnight, and one over here. Um, this is the one I would like to clear in order to continue higher. Remember, we had virgin control points on the downside as well as virgin controls on the upside. What I would like to show, if we can stay above this area, we can come back in for a little bit, a third of it to the 37, uh, 790 area and come back up and look up and continue. That would be great. But if it continues higher and we clear this area, we can come up you know, to the 50 Feb, 61A and the 38. This is the combination of those instruments. I like to use them as a combo that will show the overall strength in the market, whether we're going to be to the upside or downside. Let's go to the daily chart. I'm going to zoom down a little bit. And just go down to the daily chart from four hours. Take it to a daily. See at the same time that on the daily, we had this nice hammer down, hammer up. We're still right underneath the 50 SMA. If I can clear 38, 120, I think uh, 120 would be more bullish to the upside. And we can continue to clear those two channels and come back up to the upside. If we end up not going and couldn't clear those two down channels on this area, we may have, you know, potentially coming back down if we cannot clear it and come back down. This is why I'm looking for the 200 to 400, you know, going back up to the 50 Feb. And if we can clear the, you know, the 50 to the 61, look maybe for retracement and coming back up. This is what I'd like to see. If not, you know, we drag this channel, come back down, okay? Let's take a look at the daily, the Fortune 500 E-minis, and we'll go one by one. Let's, that one is out of here slash es that's the e-mini contract at the same time it had a similar look as the combination of those instruments we hit the 50 sma look below fill the gap that was the 40 uh, 75 and the low was 20 the close was 39 so we looked below came back up and closed above the 39 40 area same thing on friday we went looked as low as 28 26 area and came back up. So if we can stay above the 28.83.50, which is the critical area, I'll show it on the four hour chart so everybody can see it. And we'll go, you know, a little bit faster on the NASDAQ. Uh, okay, come on. The, the 28.62 uh, and the 
8350. That's going to be a very critical area. If we look below it a little bit, come back to the, you know, to the 60 area, 59 area and continue back up, that would be great. That would be a better setup. But if we continue and close above this channel and come back to the, you know, to the 61A and the upper channel, this may, you know, get a little rejection, come back here and push back up. I would like to see this. So let's go now to the NASDAQ 100. We'll put the daily again back up. This is the NASDAQ. Similar situation. We hit the 50 SMA twice, filled the gap, and came back up. You can see everybody, you know, I have, that's the ES. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Slash NQ. Oops. Today having a little bit technical difficulty looks like. Okay, the NASDAQ touched the 50 SMA twice. We filled the gap, if you notice, that was the gap. We came to it, we touched it, and came back up. Let's see if we can continue and go higher. That would be great. Let's take a look at the Russell, RTY. And I'm gonna zoom down a little bit on the Russell. To show that there's actually, I mean, without zooming down, you can see there was consolidation. Looked at the 1600, went up, came back down, went up, came back down, went up, came back down. If you notice, the Russell is between the 18 SMA and the 50 SMA. You know, we touched twice. We almost double bottom. If you look at this bottom on the Russell, that was 1546.7. And the one next to it on Friday went a little bit below it. 1545.7 and we went back and closed right above the Thursday close which looks bullish if we can clear the 18 if we can clear 1582 to 1592 we become more bullish 1592 would be a great area that we're going to continue higher and we can do the same thing here you know draw a channel down let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average slash YM the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, looks very similar. It had a double bottom, trying to come back up. If we can clear the 50 SMA here in the Dow Jones Industrial, the 26, let's call it 20, 20, 25, 950 in 2600, it's going to become more bullish to the upside, which gives us an opportunity to go higher. So let's see what the tariff does. Let's. I'm going to go over right now a little bit. Um, over oil CL and this is oil oil is on the sideline you know consolidating back and forth in the 61 uh, 70 area say is 60 75 and 62 you know 30 area 50 cents if we can clear the 50 cents to the upside in the 18 SMA because we are inside this channel we can you know redraw this one a little bit more because we touched that one or we can do one which is a little bit more consolidation if we can clear that 6250 6350 the 18 SMA we can come back to the upside here if this if there's something you know in the Middle East causing an issue between the Iran crisis as well as you know uh, the Saudis, you know, if they cannot keep the inventory up because of the sanctions, the 50 SMA so far is holding us. If it fails in this, we had the oval. Remember, I kept that oval here. We'll keep it there. If we can hold the 59 area, 59.50, I think this is still bullish to the upside. Let's take a look at gold, GC. GC seems, you know, to have found the 1267 area, 1268. You noticed I had the oval here. We consolidated, we grinded higher because of the fear. Friday tried to take up, but we still have the 50 in the down channel. Keep an eye if we can clear, you know, the 1295 area. That would be a tell. If we cannot, you know, we can come back, consolidate at the 1285 area and come back up. That would be good to go bullish to the upside and that we reach the, you know, the 1300, 1302, 1310, and 1320 area. But if we can reject this channel, come look back for halfway of the move, which is the 1277 or the 18 SMA, and go back up. Let's take a look at Apple. This is going to be a little bit more, you know, after the earning report. And since there is, you know, the China tariff, you know, there's costs in the, 
you know, in the production of bringing in their products back since it's manufactured. You know, we looked into the gap area, if you noticed here. Then afterwards, we rejected the last five days. It had a nice hammer. If Apple can clear the, uh, the 198, uh, 198.50, it has potential to go back to the 204, 205 area, which is this oval here. We had this oval here. Remember, we broke this channel, came back under it, and we got one, two, two hammers, but you bounced off the 50. If this 50 is going to hold us, you know, if you're going to go long because you hold it to 200 SMA on the daily, and this holds, and you know, we clear that 198. 50 look to the upside of 202 201 area before you can you know get out of it that's apple you know most people are not looking at it that way let's take a look at amazon amazon the same thing but it never got see we had the oval that's the mid-range of it let's just keep that there and we have that 50 sma we're still holding the 18 uh, 23. I think Amazon has potential if we clear the 1895 area, it can come back, you know, to the to the 1926, 1945. If you know things do work out once again in the deal between Asia, uh, United States and Asia, you know, for the tariff. I know I'm repeating myself. Let's take a look at Baba. And if you notice, Baba had a nice. You know, down move, we came back to the 180.40, we touched the 61.8. This is a very critical on the daily chart. If you notice, you know, I had this console, I had this oval, you know, we went up, looked down, we went up, looked down, we went up, looked down, console pushed up, came back down. Because, you know, if the noise in Asia, if this 180.50 clears and you clear the 50 SMA, we can look back to the 185 area range. If not, keep an eye on the 170 for a bounce. 70 cents. Um, let's take a look at the FB. FB is holding the 18 SMA, got a nice hammer. It's an inside of the consolidation of the prior day. We're holding the 38.2. If this clears, you know, the 188, 190, look for the 195 area. If not, we already filled the gap. Remember, I kept telling everybody, Facebook, don't do anything till you fill the gap. And here's your gap fill on Friday. That was a nice bounce off that oval here and we'll show it a little bit more closely you can see this high here was 185.14 and this low was 185 184.59 when it came back through that it came back consolidated and pushed back up if this is going to be continuation look for the upside remember i'm not recommending stuff i'm just showing you setups um, let's take a look at uh, google l We'll zoom down first in Google. Google, you know, since it had the euro crisis an issue, it's it needs to clear the 175, 171 area to continue higher to, to get to the back to the 1195, uh, 1200 area. So I would like to see Google, you know, hold the 200 SMA, you know, and continue clear the uh, 1180 area, 1185 continue back up to the 1200 area that's what i would like i'll keep that oval here and i like to see the 50 sma revisited let's take a look at netflix and flx netflix had a double you know hammer down the bottom if this is going to clear this oval here we do do hold the 61a look for back for the 1370 uh, 375 area and the 380 area back up if it doesn't hold here look for the uh, 342 before we do anything 345 um, let's take a look at uh, tesla this is something i would want everyone to be aware of i'm starting to change my technicality on tesla from being bearish to being a little bit bullish Keep an eye on the 247, 248 in Tesla. If this time she comes back, closes above there, consolidates for a day or two, I would like to be long Tesla back to the 380, 288 area, 280 area, which is in this consolidation area back eventually to the 295 but remember i'm not doing a recommendation i need to see tesla hold in this area clear the 247 consolidating the 247 to the 250 
if it can clear this up channel, this down channel move here. Remember, I have it a little bit drawn a little bit badly. So we're going to refix that, grab this area here to this one here. We'll get rid of the other one. You can see it. it's between these two channels. We'll keep them up because that was my prior old channel. See, if it tests that, we're going to put that oval here. If this oval is cleared, we'll put an oval here. So that way everybody can, you know, keep an eye on it. You can do the same thing on your charts. Your, uh, your 38.2 is 255, 80, let's call it 80, 90 cents. To the 250, then, you know, the 262 area, 263. We'll keep this oval here. That would be a nice U-turn back up. But remember, I would like to see the 247, 250 clear, consolidate in this range, clear this area, and go up. Okay? Let's take a look at uh, Wind Resort. Wind Resort came back to the down channel. If this down channel holds, and you hold the 200 SMA, look for U-turn back to the 138, 140 area. Let's take a look at uh, XOM. Exxon came back to the area I'd like always, you know, to consolidate and buy back. It never got to the, you know, the 75 area. It got a little bit just right under it on Friday. If that area holds and you'd like to start having a position in Exxon to accumulate it, you know, you can buy 10, 20, 50, 100, you know, it depends on your size of your account. Exxon would be a nice, you know, if it gets a rounded bottom, continue back up to the 78, 79, and 80. And I'm usually, you know, getting rid of uh, Exxon between the $80 range and $82 range. I would like, you know, to see it consolidate here, holds this area, and continue higher. I would like to review the ES in a little bit in more details for you for the Fortune 500 company. And, you know, you can do electronically traded funds such as the SPY, the IWM, or the QQQ, you know, the Spiders, because they are very high liquid ETF products. If you cannot participate in your future account, in your retirement account, you can use those and options, you know. To, be, to build a position in a retirement account. Let's just go over this one here. This is the daily. We're going to go to the four hour once again, and I'm going to break it down a little bit more in detail. The four hour gap, we're looking above the, the 2883.50, but remember, your VPOC is around 2860 area, and my long was 2859.50. If you notice, this moved up because the ATR has been shifting, you know, from 20 point down to 42. It was at 38. And eventually on Friday, since the range got wider, your average true range is about 42.50. Let's see if it settles down. Keep an eye on that and keep an eye on the 83.50. This is going to be a too critical position if you're going to get back up and clear to the 18 area and this one would be the oval that I'd like to see refill this whole area here in the SPY we'll leave we we'll, should do one which is a little longer we'll do it on the daily right here I'll move it back to the daily chart but what I would like to tell everybody on this we're going to go down to one more time frame which is a little smaller which is the I use a 78 minute because the futures close at 415 they do not close at four o'clock other than the, you know the equities and some of the options some do trade like the SPY ETF trades till 415 and their options on it if you notice this area here this is very critical the 28 78 area 79 to the 83 50 if we can stay above it and clear it we can come down to the 60 area and push higher if you notice my bullish sentiment is 2862 in order to stay above this area to continue higher we have a target which is this area here 2918 and see what we do here in the coming week remember we still have the tariff up for grabs the news is out there it's already done let's go down to a 15 minute chart it's just a five day and if you notice on the five day, we are in this up channel. We clear it. Even if you draw one from here 
to here to here and here watch what i'm going to do so that way you have it for a reference that would be a nice bounce so we're going to make it a little different color so everybody can use it that was the overnight whoops the overnight doesn't want me to grab it. okay here we go so we grab this one right here before okay we're going to change the color you can always go in the platform and you know change this the color edit uh, uh, edit properties we're going to make this just a different color we're going to mark it blue and i'm going to mark it with number two for a reason okay come on okay and this is the blue you know even if we come back in this area would be good but if even if you just get to this one and it holds look for the upside maybe the 68 holds us okay 68 68 75 um what i want to do is add the volume profile for everybody so they can see what i'm using so it can help you guys this is a volume profile study um plus have a basic one but this has labels in it um what i want to do is just show you something on the volume profile this usually helps a lot in visualizing where you're at in relationship to where the market is or will most of the volume acted and if you notice we came back to the prior pox here one two we cleared this one we went under we had the puck in the morning around the 35 eventually shifted to the 65 area you know up if we can stay above that 88 and continue higher we can have um a little bit more and if i go down to an hourly chart 78 minute 20 days we do have virgin control points these are called v pox you have this one right here which is around the 20 28 20 area 18 area and you do have one other one as well which has never been revisited which is the 28 42 area 43 area so you've got this virgin control point here which is this color right here because of that prior move that consolidation went up came back down looked up this wasn't never visited back that's a virgin control point and this is a virgin control point that never been visited so what we're going to do here on the daily we're going to put an oval on both of them let's go to a daily chart Zoom in. I'm going to make one like this one here. We're going to get an oval. Around the 18, we're going to put a marker. It's a very thin, long one. And we're going to put one around the 42. Okay? Let's see which one will act as resistance and support. And we'll show it on the four hours so everybody can see it if you notice they just started there and that's what we're looking for so from us at solstice atr we look forward to seeing you in our chat room and at the same time you can subscribe to our youtube channel please click the like button it's free service for you the weekly videos it's offered for free if you want to be more active and you know been watching us internally how we trade and what we do you can check us out at solstice atr and join our group have a wonderful happy mother's day everyone and look forward to hearing from you next week enjoy it and take care